Hello everybody and welcome to You Have Control. In today's video we are going to look at the Foon effect, as well as why it happens. So let's begin! And the first question that a lot of you will be asking is what on earth is the Foon effect? Well, the Foon effect is the process in which one side of a mountain is significantly warmer than the other side. Let's look at why this happens. Now, when a parcel of air is forced to rise, it cools at a different rate to the environmental lapse rate. The lapse rate which we are looking at can either be saturated or dry. These are known as adiabatic lapse rates. The dry adiabatic lapse rate, which we'll look at, cools at a rate of 3 degrees for every 1000 feet, whereas the saturated adiabatic lapse rate cools at a rate of 1.5 degrees every 1000 feet. Now if we have a wind that's pushing against a mountain, the air involved has nowhere else to go except upwards, therefore this air will cool at the adiabatic lapse rate. As the air rises, it will pass what's known as the dew point, at which point the water molecules inside the air will condense and form a cloud. At this point, the air is now saturated and will cool at 1.5 degrees. If the cloud that is formed is raining, then we will get to a point where there is not enough moisture in the air to form a cloud. Therefore, the adiabatic lapse rate will become dry. Let's now come down the other side of the mountain. The air will be warming this time at the dry adiabatic lapse rate, and by the time we reach the bottom, we can see the air temperatures on the left side of the mountain and on the right side of the mountain are different. We can see this happening by the foon clouds which form at the top of the mountains. Here are a couple of examples I pulled from Google of foon clouds. Thank you for watching this video. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more content. Fly safe.